Uh, good afternoon, dear colleagues. I'm very thrilled to be here uh, to meet new friends. Actually, most of you I know from before. Uh, before going to my presentation, I would like to thank in person uh, Peter, where's Katya? Katya here, Katya, Erturul, and Tuba. Uh, did you hear me? Yeah, okay. So, uh, in, in general, uh, I would like to appreciate uh, the DRS team, IFLA, and Qatar National Library for organizing such great event. Uh, as we say also, shukran, it happened. Finally, we come together and exchange ideas, help to each other. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Peter. So, it works. So, let me take to the tour to Azerbaijani academic libraries uh, in the example of AD University, located in Baku, Azerbaijan. Uh, actually, what was going on? Firstly, about the uh, university, uh, we're relatively young. Uh, last year, we celebrated 15th anniversary. Uh, our rector, Dr. Hafiz Pashaev, uh, is one of the prominent personalities in the academic uh, life of Azerbaijan. He always make changes, and he was uh, ambassador in United States about 15 years. And in 2006, when he returned back uh, to home country, decided made some changes uh, to bring something new uh, to our country in the education. So, uh, firstly, uh, launched Azerbaijan Diplomatic Academy. Then, after eight years, it became university. So uh, now we're measuring, uh, except medical, sport, uh, and theological subjects, uh, in five schools, uh, as you see in a slide. We have uh, about um, 3,000 uh, students from 46 countries and 300 faculty and staff. The university total uh, based on the Western standards, primarily in the United States, including uh, the library. Uh, actually what we use uh, in, in terms of the management system and other operations and services. So, uh, the COVID, uh, what, what were the uh, general uh, circumstances and uh, challenges? The budget actually in all over the world it happens uh, in a normal days when we're talking about the libraries. Uh, to obtain the budget was uh, really hard, and the uh, pandemic made it very colorful and <laughs> helped make it more harder. Uh, limitations uh, in disorder of personal life and uh, professional life. I assume the female part, especially young uh, families, struggled more because we men can go to the garderobe to somewhere to balcony with our laptops, but the ladies with children, every day, I mean, uh, responsibilities with work, typing in the uh, laptop, children on the head, on the table. So uh, it was some kind of exam uh, for this period to take uh, until the our nowadays. Uh, then it comes to the, oh, sorry. Behavioral and technical issues, uh, especially uh, baby boomers generation. I would do it uh, from my father's example. Uh, imagine 70 years old man. Uh, he just, most of the, his life was in the Soviet period. He's still using, I mean, phones like this and yes, no numbers, messages just coming to to phone, and uh, like uh, he asked uh, to make online reserves, uh, do something like download applications and this kind of things. So it's, it's r it really was hard for this, uh, I mean, segment to pass through the um, COVID period. 
Then it comes to the uh, regional access to the internet. Most of the students were abroad, and during pandemic, uh, the I mean, regional uh, exchange of students were hard, and um, most of the students are from the village, and they couldn't access to internet. Uh, I mean, join to the classes, which the university based in Baku. The, uh, another one, uh, information access problems, it, it included also the resources databases of the libraries. Uh, in due dealing with uh, the libraries, uh, the first point is uh, the same at the global, that uh, the physical collections dramatically uh, go down in terms of the circulation. Then, uh, uh, document delivery services, I mean in physical form, also decrease it. Just in uh, some mitigated uh, period, we can do uh, exchange of physical resources. Off-campus access to uh, collections, e-collections, I mean, was very hard because the AD University is the only uh, I mean, entity using the proxy services for the uh, off-campus access to our uh, e-books or in journals, databases. Uh, following that, uh, in many libraries, uh, the reference librarians try hard because almost all uh, staff members try to obtain articles or chapters from their resources and provide their community because the uh, users around could not access directly to the e-collections. Then, uh, of course, legal legal issues. Some copyright restrictions could not allow us uh, to exchange resources. This is timetable. In uh, in total, we have 100, 172 days of strict uh, pandemic day. Like you cannot out after nine o'clock. You can uh, you allowed three hours per day per person. Just go to market or uh, do something. Uh, in additional cases, like medical cases, maximum two hours. So we are uh, positive, we try to develop, and uh, even after 100 years, we experience another pandemic. So uh, hopefully we'll be okay and we'll go forward all together. Just a uh, quick view, Azerbaijani uh, academic libraries, which standards, which uh, library management systems, and uh, actually uh, how we, uh, I mean, manage our library operations and services. Um, this this uh, quick note is the most Western standards come uh, to this region after in, uh, second independence, uh, independence last 30 years. Uh, like um, Follett, Library Management System, World Share OCLC, and many uh, RDA, ACR2, and this kind of um, standards and protocols. AD, one of the, uh, I mean, leading academic entities that uh, library implement all these uh, standards. Uh, it, the digital services, the, again, almost the uh, same as the global. We do virtual services, social media, ask a librarian, or just um, online live chats with the, our users. And uh, the fee fines uh, removed from the system during pandemic. The most positive, uh, I mean, feature of the pandemic was that uh, it was the huge increase uh, in consumption of the databases. And the more uh, better case that we still continue to keep this, uh, I mean, statistics. Uh, we uh, counted as a counter five um, total items requests, uh, just to have better idea how it uh, used previously. This is document delivery uh, services. Uh, the numbers, could be small uh, because with small university. Uh, another thing that uh, the people uh, out of ADA uh, could, I mean, uh, rarely request because of the language issues. 
the uh, fully English instructed universities are uh, few in Azerbaijan, just maybe some programs. That's why, for example, we have a guest user. Uh, I will show you in the next slide. Uh, some guest users requesting our uh, resources in English. And of course, uh, the faculty and the students. Uh, the main reason could be um, I, uh, whether they can not find directly from the databases or we haven't access some individual articles and etc. Uh, of course the negative case uh, that uh, we like uh, take it more positive that the students during that time try to keep the books on them, just uh, doing hardware exams and don't, return, uh, don't want to return books to the library. But uh, it become better now. <laughs> yeah, it was extremely, it's like competition of renewals. This is most uh, uh, corporated local universities, uh, like uh, Azerbaijan Economic University, UNEC, um, National Aviation Academy, Western Caspian University and uh, Sports Academy, Azerbaijan State Sports Academy. Uh, you may ask uh, or just uh, question me that uh, previously you said that um, we don't um, deal with sport, uh, with medical, etc. But uh, there's some kind of my message uh, to the publishers, my colleague, I assume, uh, from Qatar National Library told about the publisher's issue. For example, when we get some databases, uh, let's say um, ProQuest eBook Central, there are uh, 200,000 eBooks from many subjects. But normally we use about 10, 15% of that uh, huge amount of book. And of course there are some books or uh, some maybe chapters uh, according to DRM about sport, about medical. So when they uh, see, uh, I mean, in our collection, that resources, uh, we try to try to help them in their request because some of them don't have directly access to global resources. This is an example of uh, what we sent, what we received, and I also would like to stress the uh, received project, uh, for example, uh, the Dean of School of Law requested urgent uh, book to us, to librarians, and uh, we collected uh, it, this resource from different sources, and of course one of them received, and I just emphasize my idea and thinking about received is some kind of uh, creation equal rights for librarians and for community that we can easily obtain the resources. This is the main subjects, what we support to our um, partners. You can see business, political, science, and history. This is some kind of more stronger part uh, in our university. School of Business, very I mean, active in uh, usage of databases. Also, uh, many universities, they lately launched MBA and the related programs. And it was very helpful, I mean, our collections and our uh, partnership in terms of exchange of resources. Uh, challenges in resource sharing. Um, again, the first one is embargo issue. Uh, it might be some scholarly articles, some thesis, uh, dissertations. When we put our institutional repository, uh, some after just said, uh, I have three years embargo because I haven't copyright uh, authority on me. So please, uh, I mean, provide this full text after three years. Uh, and related, I mean, issues uh, according, I mean, uh, copyright. Rival among suppliers mean that, uh, for example, we have different requests and uh, it's split on the many databases, which is very expensive. So sometimes it's hard to obtain uh, all of them, as the budget cannot allow us this. And this balance of uh, within the local collections, we are mostly lending because uh, we are English uh, language entity, 
and uh, most of uh, universities uh, are, as I said before, some few programs in English, and the MOTA collections are r in Azerbaijan in Russian languages. And again, <laughs> copyright barriers that uh, some books not allowed scan or after not allow us uh, to share with other libraries. We also uh, try to support open access initiatives uh, as an AD University library. We try to open our, I mean, ADA University outputs, academic or just popular uh, public outputs in an institutional repository, but none of them open. As I said before, uh, the some articles because of the uh, copyright restrictions are not open. Uh, lately in 2021, uh, we collaborated with Columbia International Online Affairs. Uh, we have Baku Dialects Journal in our university. So uh, it indexed in that database. So it's open access. And 2022, uh, we negotiated with JSTOR. Uh, we put Azerbaijan newspaper, which uh, transliterated, because in the first uh, Republic period, independence period, in 18 uh, until 20, we have Arabic script. And uh, lately, it translated with support of AD University to the Latin script. So each time it published it, it still continued to publish publish and uh, we put it to JSTOR, open uh, community uh, collection, just share this information. And future views, uh, the hybrid. Before COVID, uh, might be many universities could not thinking about the hybrid issue, digital transformations, but it's some kind of requirements for us. I mean, for Azerbaijan universities to go forward with hybrid thinking. The young universities uh, become, I mean, the libraries of young universities become more uh, smaller and the collections, digital collections, more broader. Uh, to put main, um, I mean, investment or attention on e-collections and uh, the services based on the, of course, uh, we're talking about the uh, spaces, maker space and this kind of thing. But uh, in our case, we might be uh, to increase necessary demanded e-resources. Uh, of course, rethinking about the acquisition is not just acquire to purchase collections or get some donations. Of course, go to the global, uh, the project, I mean, collaborate with the project like received uh, or interlibrary loan, any uh, of the global countries, of course, the suitable. Uh, E-resource of uh, campus access. We're still thinking uh, and literate community about the e-resources, necessity of uh, go out from uh, local resources, publish abroad, just uh, integrate uh, international resources to our collections. And uh, to share, uh, share uh, to share ideas of resource exchange, um, with local partners and uh, global partners. This is a bibliography uh, which I used uh, for my presentation. And thank you.